I think honestly, some people fear um, that wanting that wanting good and happiness is maybe sometimes a bad thing, like especially in the Christian world, because, you know, we're supposed to deny ourselves, deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. Right. But honestly, there's that's there's this is no part of the Christian faith. Um, the desire to be happy is is not a bad desire. Um, and it's impossible not to have that desire because that's the way God wired us. The God, God wired us in, in a way to want to be happy. It's just that in this world, we, we try to find our happiness in other things, in money, right? In worldly possessions, in other people, um, in, in, in all of these artificial things, right? That have no eternal wor worth. Um, so, you know, I think our, like I said before, I think our Lord finds that our desires are not too strong, but too weak. You know, if you were to speak to me, Brandon, you know, Brandon Austin, your, your problem in the Christian life is that your desires are, are too weak. Your problem is that you're settling for way too little. You're blinded by the world and you're just settling for way too little. Um, C.S. C. S. Lewis wrote, and he, he described it, um, perfectly i i think and it, the famous quote where where he says that it would seem that our lord it would seem that our, our lord finds our desires um not too strong but too weak you know we're, we're half-hearted creatures fooling around with drink sex and ambition when infinite joy is offered to us um, like an ignorant child um who wants to go on making mud pies in the slum because he cannot imagine what is meant by an offer of a holiday at the sea we're far too easily pleased. So that's basically, you know, if, if C.S. Lewis was in Chicago or if he was still alive, um, he actually, he passed away the same day as uh, John F. Ken Kennedy. But um, if he was still alive, he would say to people in Chicago, you are, you're all too, far too easily pleased. You know, just sitting there in a gutter playing in, in dirty water when a man God, Jesus is offering a vacation at, at the ocean and they say, no, I'm good. You know, back to, back to Jeremiah uh, chapter two, verses 12, you know, um, about digging out these cisterns that can't hold water. So, um, so I think just as a society, like we're just far too easily pleased, you know, we're too easily pleased and we get so distracted and, you know, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it. You know, I get caught up in the grind where it's like work, you know, you know, heads down in work and there's other things going on. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm training for an Ironman and that's taking up recently it's been taking up so much of my time and I've had a lot of self-reflection. Like I'm far too easily pleased <laughs> with, with that, with work. It's just like, you know, there's just the desires. Um, it's so easy to let the worldly desires take capture of your heart. And, um, you know, before you know it, it's like, all right, months gone by, years gone by, and all of my focus and desire has been in, in that, right? And um, so I just think that, you know, we have to, <clears throat> we have to make sure that we are constantly seeking the presence of God, right? And I understand, like, here's the thing, like, I'm not perfect. Like, I understand there's people that don't have their ultimate desire in God. And if that's the situation, I mean, we need to cry out to God, God for a new heart. Um, but, but I just think that, you know, as we look at society, as we look at, you know, Chicago or the, the, the United States, it's like our desires, we think they're, they're very strong. We think that our, our, our worldly desires are, are something very ambitious and, you know, retirement and to live 20 years um, in Florida, um, you know, on a boat is such a great desire but the desires that are in the bible and the desires that are laid out in front of us that, that jesus speaks of and that we know that's presented to us in the word it's just we can't even fathom them you know so we just got to make sure our desires are in the right place you know that's so good and we're not saying don't save up for retirement we're not saying don't get the new boat we're not saying don't get the new audi what we're saying is are you chasing that instead of chasing Jesus? That's what we're right. saying. Because there's some people like, oh, the Christians, they can't have any fun. We're not. I think Christians can have the most fun when you're when you're planted yeah. in Jesus. You can have the most fun you want. But I think 
what, what you're saying is like people cannot chase that and make that their god. Right. Like the new yachts, their god, or the new mansion, their god. And they need to, like you said in the Psalm 37, they need to light us up in the Lord. And then he'll give the, the desires of their heart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, that's the problem is, is like it's so easy to, to, to find your joy in that, in those things. And, but it's fleeting. You know, it, it has no eternal worth. So thank you for watching this video. If you want more content, subscribe over here and watch the next video over there. God bless you.